All right, you probably got it on your phone earlier today, except for Mele, you didn't get it, right? I didn't get anything. The Miley Amber Alert. No. So shortly after 12 noon, a Miley Amber Alert was issued by the Honolulu Police Department for a couple of young boys, William Wise Pu'u and Raymond Wise Pu'u. Now, William and Raymond were both last seen with their Hanai father, Shane Santos, on Sunday uh, at around 11.40, leaving their Kalihi area residence. Now, the children were believed to be in danger, and HPD actually held a press conference earlier this morning, or this afternoon, and they said that uh, there was a family member that claimed they saw one of the boys being struck by Santos. In addition, Santos wasn't returning calls to the, the uh, boys by biological mother so that's what uh, prompted them to activate the Amber Alert. Thankfully, you know, the, the good news is the boys were found. Mm -hmm. 37 minutes after the Amber Alert was, uh, Amber Miley Alert was issued, HPD had some good uh, news in, in a statement that read the adult and two young boys have been located safe. And again, that came from uh, HPD. Yeah, they were found at the Hele, Hele gas station in Kalihi. Yep. Kalihi yeah, but, but my question is though, the boys are missing since Sunday, right? So mm -hmm. why did they only issue the Amber Alert today? That, and that's a good question. And for me being a parent, I would want that Amber Alert to be like yes. issued immediately. Right, right. But they have some criteria. So I looked on uh, the uh, state's website and they actually have three things. The child must be 17 years of age or younger. And both boys were. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. There must be sufficient information to indicate the child has been abducted and is in immediate danger of serious bodily injury or death. Oh. Hence, uh, when the, the family member claimed that they witnessed um, the, one of the boys being struck, that uh, met uh, the second one. And sufficient information is available about the child and the abductor and abductor's vehicle. So they had all of that, and that's what uh, prompted them, again, to activate that Amber Alert today, two days after them. Oh, so they got basically go down the check boxes. Yes. Right, but you know, I was, so I got the Amber Alert and it automatically sent me to X, which is the new Twitter, right? Right, right, right? So I had to go and update my account so I could read the information. And when I got to the information, it was the comments that were just blowing my mind. Like um, um, one of the comments on X posted said, quote, let me guess, a custody battle and then you're going to ring everybody in Hawaii? Oh and no. Um, and other people were, were just like, I can't believe, why is this Amber Alert so loud. Oh. Why, why is my phone so loud? Oh, what? Were they the inconvenienced by this the Amber Alert? That's what it seemed like. I mean, granted, there were some people that like, you know, I, I hope everything is okay, praying for the, those kids, you know, that everything is going to be okay. But a lot of the comments, I was just so surprised. If you're thinking those kinds of things, that's one thing. But when you go and you, you put it on there, like, you know, this this is such an inconvenience for me. This is so irritating. You know, I didn't even know why why does Hawaii have an Amber Alert? What what's the Miley wow. Cloud Amber? Deal. And wow. I was like, wow guys. <laughs> you know, some I, compassion and the kindness. The first thing to think about is like, okay, what happened to the Aloha spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Like I to say growing up, we gotta malama each other, yeah, look out for each other. Like Absolutely. Wow, that's mind blowing.